In this video, we'll demonstrate how elastic hypercube technology is differentiated in the planning market. Most planning systems use a static hypercube database, requiring the administrator to predefine its dimensions beforehand. Static hypercubes allocate memory for all their locations, so more dimensions need more memory. This makes it difficult to change the dimensions on a cube once it's defined, and due to the multiplying effect of Cartesian combinations, the cube can grow very large very quickly, easily reaching the physical limit of memory available on a server. And each cube only represents one part of an organization's plan, so admins end up configuring multiple cubes for different parts of the plan. And with data in different cubes, they need to create consolidating cubes for reporting purposes. Creating all of these different cubes and keeping their dimensions and data in sync is a real challenge. Workday's in-memory elastic hypercube avoids these issues by only simulating the empty cube in memory. We define the outline of the cube, that is, all of its dimensions and members, but we don't allocate memory for all of the possible locations. We only allocate memory for places where data actually resides. Meanwhile, our database treats the cube as if it has been fully defined in memory, no matter how big it's defined to be. This allows admins to change the size and shape of the Elastic Hypercube on the fly, even adding whole new dimensions without shutting down the database. We just redefine where that outline lies. We don't need to allocate any additional memory. This also allows administrators to create a much larger potential hypercube since we only allocate memory for the actual data. Most of our customers have dozens or even hundreds of independent dimensions defined in their Elastic Hypercube. So most customers only need one cube to hold their entire plan and all of its versions. When an Elastic Hypercube database is opened, we define the outline of the cube in memory, then load the data from disk into their proper locations, leaving the rest of the cube blank. Loading a revenue plan and an expense plan into a single Elastic Hypercube is also memory efficient, since each of these separate subplans is effectively a smaller version of the Elastic Hypercube itself, only allocating memory for places that contain data. Being in a single overarching hypercube allows administrators to leverage the subcube's common dimensionality. First, it allows a single dimension to be used by multiple subcubes without the need to copy the dimension from cube to cube. The separate subcubes are all literally using the same dimension at the same time, so changes to that dimension automatically apply to all subcubes. But even more importantly, it does away with the need to build and maintain consolidated reporting cubes. The Elastic Hypercube itself is the consolidated reporting cube, because all of the dimensions that are in common are already being used in common, and the consolidated data is already present. It's all transparent and all live. There's no data copying needed. In summary, Workday's Elastic Hypercube does away with the limitations, inflexibility, and duplication necessary when using traditional multidimensional databases for planning by being designed to solve the problems of planning from the ground up. It can adapt to changing requirements on the fly and automatically consolidates and relates all the parts of a planning model together for simple, intuitive, consolidated reporting. Now let's take a look at the Elastic Hypercube in action. Here's a simple report comparing actuals to budget, but our CFO has asked, what if we add a new indirect sales channel to our business? So we've created a new what-if version and added it to the report to show the differences and growth. Now to add the channel itself, we just pop over to the revenue plan's definition in our modeling area. It currently has dimensions for level, account, time, product, and customer. We can add a whole new dimension to it by just dragging it in. And just like that, channel is now on the revenue plan subcube, and that cube has multiplied in size, but it took no time to do so. We can head over to the revenue plan itself now, where we can see the new dimension has immediately appeared on the subcube with both direct and indirect channels. Now, there isn't any data in the new indirect channel yet since we just added it, but we can easily add some data into that new channel right now. We'll then pivot our cube here to put our products down the side so that I can easily enter numbers for a bunch of products at once. And then I'll enter some numbers here for a few months of expected revenue from this new channel. Then I'll save it, and instantly this new version contains the new dimension and the new data without any syncing needed. All the data is live at all times, so we can give our CFO an answer in minutes, not days, so they can quickly make an informed decision. We can go back to our report now and see that the new version is automatically showing the new values in the indirect channel. This is true throughout the system, including in our analytic dashboards, where we can not only see the new data, we can slice by the new dimension, all dynamically done instantly via the Elastic Hypercube. 